By the way, thank you so much, Jamie Willis, for these awesome cards. Hello, everybody. Let me turn off that music. Hope's in the toilet. Currently gonna enter, and you can enjoy her for a moment. We are just playing some poker and having a couple of drinks. Oh. We were just talking about vlogging for the rest of our life. Should we do it? Um, you know, we were watching Jesse and Gina's uh, video about how it's, Daily vlogging it's, will kill your relationship. Yeah, that it's really hard for your relationship. I, I think know. different people are different people, aren't they? And like, one, you know, exactly the same scenario, one marriage or one relationship can last and one can't. And it's just dependent on, I don't know, a million different factors. Yeah, obviously they were together for ages, so it's not just because they're not meant to be, you know. And I'm sure it's not purely on vlogging either, but... You know, I think what's interesting is um, a lot of people come back and... Obviously, because they're kind of like digging at YouTubers a little... Well, not digging at YouTubers, but digging at daily vlogs. So every other daily vlogger must feel a little bit like, are you okay? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people have kind of talked about it and just been like, you just have to make sure that... You know, you have to pull the camera at the right time. Yeah. And like, so if, if Adam had that in my face... You know, straight away, and we, it's like if you don't have any time for each other. You'd hope that your audience would be happy with you taking breaks and stuff, mm. um, but then you would probably feel like you can't take a break because you're on a yeah, roll I think and it's stuff. Hard. But I think, like, when the Shaytards do their one take Sunday, I feel like that probably would take a little bit of stress away, and they maybe. Huh? They don't daily vlog. Do they not? Shake no. Oh, no, okay. I had to say because otherwise you're a bit outdated. They don't daily vlog anymore. How often do they do it? They don't really have a strict schedule, but he always says that he does like five videos a week, although I don't really follow him. Well, that sounds good to me. I, I like the idea of I think it's having mostly, a couple of days off. It's like three to five or something, but they don't do it all the time. But. Would you guys like us to make daily vlogs one day? Um, and we don't even see each other every day, so... <laughs> yeah, well, eventually. Let's talk about our wedding. Do you know what? When I was watching that video of us, we drove past the... Um, church where we want to get married and I wanted to clarify because it made it look like we had planned yeah. something. We have no plans. It was just where I would like to. Yeah, no, we, we have no plans for our wedding. We've done zero planning. It's not going to be for another probably a year or, you know, longer or uh, we don't. We've got no idea, but basically. It's all about the money, I, I hate, money, money. I hate the idea of our friends or, I don't know, going like, oh, why haven't I heard anything or that kind of stuff. And we do that. I think, uh, yeah, because we do that, but we're thinking we want to have a house. We want to share a house with some other students or something. Not when we're married. Not when we're married, but but um, in the next few months when we hopefully get jobs in London and stuff. Um, and then and then see how that goes for a bit and then tie the knot. Boy Scout style, son. And this is going to be Hope's outfit for the wedding. Um, it really flows, doesn't it? Really just like, it's got that kind of dad vibe about it. Um, no, we're going to play a little bit more poker. I think we're going to go out to dinner. ZZ's gift card, thank you Debbie. Except for Last week was another vlog where we went out so thanks to Debbie. So thank you Debbie, Hope's mum. Hope Harding's mum. Okay. Yeah. I'm whooping Hope's ass. No, you're yes, I am. I'm getting ready for my win, boys and girls. These are bubbles. Hope got me them for my 21st or something. And when I beat her at the poker torn, which I'm. Let's play all in. Let's just say we're all in. No. Sorry, but no. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose. Okay, everybody. Hope just went all in. Oh, she's doing it again for the camera. Good, no, I just wanted to see that fun. Right, these are my cards. By the way, thank you so much, Jamie Willis, for these awesome cards. Okay, come on. They are flipping awesome. Um, Hope, and this is the hand. So, these are mine. Can you show them yours? No, I'm just gonna look at what you had. <laughs> <laughs> you really freaked out. Those are hopes. We're all in. If I win this hand, 
hopes. Wait, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I nearly showed her. Right, she's all in, which means we've got to go. We need to put your money in. Have I not done it yet? Flip it. We have a king, a nine, a two, a jack, and an eight. Showdown. You go ahead. You show yours. Come on. Oh, pair of eights. Oh, what's it going to be? <laughs> pair of twos, son. Oh. <laughs> what do you have? The other eight and two. That'd be funny. She had a pair of twos and a pair of eights. I got. Let me just turn this fucking stupid music off. I've got. So she had a pair of twos yeah, we've said and that. a pair of eights. I know that R. Kelly was playing. I have. A two. I oh, please be an eight and not a flipping. I have to beat an eight to take all. Okay. And I'm dealer, so I would win. You've got the bubbles, so you've won. You've got Jack. It's oh. a nine, son! Oh, what a hand! Beaten by one point. Look, that's really not that. It's business. Alright, we'll just speed it's this up. It's business time. Yeah, we'll speed all of this oh, bit up. Yeah. Making it rain. We'll slow that bit down. <laughs> right, hope. What's this instrument in the background? Does anyone else remember this instrument from uh, childhood? Anybody know what she's talking about? Leave a comment if you know what instrument that is. I don't even know what instrument that is. You need to like Photoshop it into my hands. <laughs> Some of you may recognise this scene of London from the movie. It was to the right where Bill Sykes fell from the warehouse rooftops and also where Fagan dropped all the gold and silver into the mud at the end of the film. Bermondsey years ago was a very poor, very rough part of London. It was an ideal setting for Oliver Twist. 